Hey YouTube, it's Gunpowder Jesus here. I just wanted to stop in and uh, show you guys one of my recent pickups. Um, I didn't get it at a gun show. I didn't get it at a gun store. I actually inherited this this uh, particular uh, firearm. Um, it's not a very common one. Um, I haven't been able to find too much information on it, but I'll just get to the point here and show you guys. This here is a 22 long rifle. Uh, it's a Kimmel Industries um, Western 6. Uh, this revolver belonged to my grandfather. Uh, he used to do a little bit of uh, gold prospecting out west uh, in the 60s. Now, like I said, there's not much uh, that I found as far as information on this revolver, so I'm going to just show you what I can see visually from it. Um, I actually received this pistol in non-working condition uh, the cylinder well I guess I can't say non-working it was slightly working what happened was uh, every time you would want to rack oh by the way this is unloaded um, uh, it's kinda hard to show you but it is unloaded uh, but anyways what the issue was every time you would try to cock the hammer back it would rotate once and then on your second shot right about here it would start to bind up and wouldn't really want to go anywhere so anyways I disassembled it I seen one little spot that I thought may have been the culprit just barely hit it with a real light sandpaper um, oiled everything up and now it seems to work uh, real nice I mean it's nice and smooth it's real easy to pull back before you couldn't do it at all uh, but one of the cool features about this gun is uh, this the cylinder um, doesn't pop out to the side like uh, any revolver I've ever seen. It actually is loaded by this little uh, flipping door here, and you actually load them one at a time. And what you do is you rack it back to the second notch, and you can free spin this. And what you go ahead and load them up one at a time in there. And after you shoot them, how you get them out is after you spin it each time, there's a little slider here. And the slider has a uh, rod built in there. And with the door open, when you slide the rod through, as you can see on this side, the rod actually pops out and is going to knock your casing out. <coughs> I know this makes it real easy for uh, when you're shooting uh, like a dirtier ammo and your cases want to get a little wedged in there. I've noticed on a couple of revolvers I've shot before, all you got to do is give that a little whap and it uh, makes unloading real easy. Uh, one one thing about this particular uh, gun that, that I noticed is these, these hand grips, they're a little weak. Uh, there's no support actually between the two hand grips. It's just one screw that squeezes the two together. And apparently, uh, looks like Grandpa over tightened one time and uh, split split the hand grip in half on this side. So as far as flaws, that's the real only flaw. Um, the the cylinder used to be a gold. Uh, it's actually kind of worn off now. I was thinking about getting that refinished. I haven't decided really yet. But and then uh, they do make this this particular revolver in a 22 magnum. Um, all you need for that is the 22 magnum cylinder. Uh, they just swap in and out real easy. How you do that is you flip this door open. You're gonna cock it back to your to your free spin, and then uh, actually on this side there's a small pin. What you do is you just push in push in the little latch here and then the pin sometimes it's a little tough you might have to spin it first but the pin just slides right on out of there and your cylinder flips out you'd put your new cylinder back in just kind of wiggle her into place uh, setting your hammer should hold it in place uh, pretty much lock it in there and line it up to where you can slide your pin in and just give her a little push down and you're ready to rock with uh, 22 magnums or if you're going vice versa it would work as well 
As far as cleaning, uh, this thing is kind of a pain to clean. There's tons of little uh, screws everywhere. There's one in the hand grip. Uh, there's two on this side. There's three underneath. Uh, one on the end of the uh, extension or the uh, extractor uh, tube. But anyways, I have shot this this uh, one time. I did take it out just to make sure it fired and it was uh, cycling good after I had lubed it up and stuff and it worked perfect I had no problems whatsoever the sights are just a tiny bit off the groupings are excellent it uh, shoots probably about three quarters of an inch to an inch to the left so if you know that you can compensate for it but um, I did have a lot of fun with this gun um, brought it out with a couple of the shotguns and uh, I think the nine millimeter I, I don't really think I shot anything but this so it was a really fun gun to shoot. I think it might just be because it's grandpa's. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If you guys know anything else about this, uh, I haven't been able to find too much information about it. I'm, I found that they were produced uh, from the 60s to the late 80s. Um, other than that, the Kimmel, uh, this is the Western 6. Um, there's a few other uh, makes that, that Kimmel... I don't know if they're uh, all like the same corporate group or, or what the deal is, but there's a few other uh, makers that make a real similar gun to this. They do call them something else, uh, but all the parts are interchangeable. So if you ever come across anything like this, uh, you know, give me a give me a heads up. I'd like to check out your videos, see what you guys can find on them and stuff. But anyways, that's my Kimmel Western 6 22 long rifle. Hope you guys like watching. I'll try and put up another video. I'm going to make another uh, set of hand grips. I'll keep these ones, but I'm going to make another set of hand grips for them. So I'll tell you guys how I did all that. And anyways, we'll leave that for another date. Thanks for watching, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed.